hey guys, this is Atari Bot, and today, as yes, I am the captain of the Millennium Falcon for a little bit right now, but let me explain what's happening here, because I know you're wondering. Insanity Fish was in chat, feeling kind of lonely, I think, asking people to 1v1 him. And then he started going on about how he had the best bot, and nobody could beat his bot. Just the best bot. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind, I know who he is. I don't know him personally, but Insanity Fish is one of the most skilled players in the game. I actually pay attention to a lot of you guys. You think I don't know, you think I may not know you. I know. Anyway, so, like I said, here we have one of the most skilled players in the game playing with a noob weapon. Now I don't know if this is telling or not, but he's so proud of this. I don't know if he built this or what was going on. I don't. Maybe he's trolling me, or maybe he is actually just trying to make a point here. That while these weapons were designed to assist people who weren't well in the game, if you give it to a skilled player. It may kind of suck, because they know a way to get, get around all these obstacles to keep the lock on you, and I'm trying all these little tricks, but look. Now, this probably is not the best build for this. Look at me go, though. Look at me go. I can only get the missile lock. He's just sitting in one spot, but this is... Anybody that has uh, done a flying Tesla build knows they're really hard to... It's already really hard to hit targets in the, in the sky. But I, I figured uh, I would go for, for a speed of kill to get, to get away from this target lock. And I thought this might have been the best way to do it. However, your probably best bet is actually uh, a good... Uh, maybe a rail gun. Or maybe you'll sneak up. I tried sneaking up on him in that first match with the shotgun. I thought some SMGs, a couple snot shotguns, right? Get him down. Boom, boom. But, uh, you know, and maybe I just needed a better, more of a better build. But that would have been a good build. Now, now I think he's just trolling me saying, Look, I could just sit here on the ground and you can't beat me. I'm just sitting here on the ground. You can't do nothing. You're just, they're just that bad. I'm just like... I'm a, I got three balls. I'm going to rub three balls on you. I'm going to rub them right in your face. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your healer can't reach you. Oh. Not so great now, is it? Don't worry. I think that's the only time I killed him. <laughs> he's back. He's back. Oh. He's mad now. Can't get out of that lock. I'm like, come on. Break the lock. I'm trying to fly around every obstacle I can think of. Break the stupid lock. And then the idea is to swoop back on him, hit my invis, missiles miss. And I strike him down. I can hit him. <laughs> yeah. Now hopefully, I, I think, I don't know if he was uh, having any fun doing this or he was just bored or what. But I had fun. I hope he had fun as well. Here we go. Do a little team death match. I had a, uh, I took a break from the game for a little bit after that, and I came back here. And I thought I'd just rub some balls in other people's faces. I think you know, even in uh, in a in a team situation, this build does better. I love Tesla builds. I like all kinds of builds. I like getting shot. Trying to be sneaky, people kept finding. That's okay. You gotta remember to limit your targets. Limit your, any and with any build, really. Ruby Ra! It's Ruby Ra! Reality though, famous YouTubers come on here. You know, 
become famous in the Robocraft world. Or maybe some of the cross-out world now, I'm starting to... But the sad thing is, is that... You know, the numbers are getting pretty sad. The Steam numbers are really sad. You know, look up Steam Charts Robocraft. Just Google it. Don't take my word for it. Google it. And see. You know. And, uh... I really think, you know, for them to turn it around now at this point... I mean, this is like been talked about for years now but in any case maybe they'll start listening now that they're like on the on death's door so to speak I don't think they will ever shut down um, but everybody thought it was going to level out you know earlier and now look at the number of uh, players you know it's still it can't dive anymore though There's, there's, like, they really wanted to make this game into something. They need to add some new maps, rotate some night maps in here, give people a way to spend the cosmetic credits that they have, and stop trying to s sneak in new ways to try to make, make money. And I got something to say about that, too. Um, I'll talk about that later. This is something that really bothers me and kind of frustrates me at the same time. And very little, very few times it's Free Jam done something that actually, I've usually been pretty happy. Yeah, the uh, chicken death spawn thing. You know what I mean. Can't talk. Can't talk all the time, you see. Hey, Billy, you know, comes out. I mean, I don't know what the day. Yeah, walked into that one, buddy. Oh. Is it not working? Oh, <laughs> oh, look at me go! Thank you for coming. <laughs> Would you like a strawberry squishy with that? No. Drop this cushion for you. Let's go. Go! Assist? Really? Ah. Whatever. I don't really care who gets the kill. I'm not one of those people that are like, You stole my kill! You will not go through a single one of my videos. You will never hear me bitching about people kill it. Maybe it's because I do it a little bit. I don't know. But I never like It's always a team effort, people. It's always a team effort. more likely to succeed two against one. That's just how it is. It should always be a team. I don't mind when people come over and help finish off the field. It's time to just off. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I need somebody to help me get these guys. Right now it's 2v2. Come on. Come on. Okay. Look at that. Did you see it? All this time, I've been playing this match. I didn't even see that. Where did that come from? I'm going to have to go find that now. I'm going to have to go look and see if that's in the CRF. I got to get up close. Let's see. For now, yeah, let's see. I'm close. Let's kill it. Oh, that thing's so awesome. Oh, good job, guy. Good job. That is awesome looking. That is so awesome. What weapons was he using? Does he have weapons on it? Oh my god. Alright, he saw the name. I'll have to check it out. I hope that he actually built that. Divide. Just die. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man, this is so close. Okay. 
guy. Eat him. Oh. Come on. Sneak around here. There we go. I got a new mouse. I got a new gaming mouse. Logitech. It lights up and matches whatever the game wants to match it to on the screen. Or you could change it. It's got billions of colors. And there's a there's a control thing. It's nuts. Now I want to get the speakers. They're supposed to light up the wall all behind you. Match this this what effects happen in the game. It'll light up the wall background behind you. It's 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 really neat. It doesn't take up hardly like any resources at all. So it's not like it's gonna like lag out your games or anything. And I'm not like you guys know me. I don't. I'm not paid for, sponsored, supported by anybody. So if I tell you about a Logitech product, game because Logitech is telling me I just bought one because I like the product looked good. I like whatever other people said about it. And it wasn't the most expensive mouse in the world either. As a matter of fact, it was probably one of their lower end mouses because you have to have this color effect to get it. It's really cool. And so I just, I just don't like a ton of buttons. I just like I want a scroll wheel button, two buttons, you know. And sadly, I can't. They they have to include a couple side buttons. Accidental click. You know, I already hit the DPI button all the time. And whenever I bump it from super high to super low, it's like, oh my gosh. But I kind of like it. Although I'm happy with it. I do like the high, the. I just, I need to make some adjustments. It becomes like a clean set with four DPI settings. Yay! We've won again. Now that I've seen the uh, the Romulan thing, I've got to go take this out there. I just ah, uh, that Romulan ship looks so good. That's so that was so awesome. I'm gonna have to hunt that thing down. Go. You know what we got to do here, though. Anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this. We're going to fix these in the cells because they don't look quite right, really. Well, I mean, they, they look all right, but I think they taper more. Should be more of a an even taper. Plus, it doesn't really, you know. A little, little weight loss back here won't hurt. And that, way we'll get, that way we'll get our gun, too. Yeah, we got all our CPU and everything in there. So that'll give us five SMGs. Alright. Blink drive online. Prepare for black alert. The battle for Birmingham Power Let's see if we can find us a Romulan. Find us something. I don't know. Now this is an art build, so have to, you know. The enemy has captured the point furthest from your base. Half the time, your matches will not. Much less, much more than half the time, you're gonna lose matches with art builds. Anytime you take an art bot bot in the battle, you might get lucky. I'm like, come on. Why did he run? Why? Why? I'm point holding. It's an art bot. I'm point holding. All they have to do is kill him. Kill him, push him off, some look. Uh. So it's obvious how this bat this whole match is about to go. I'm gonna save you some time here. I mean, it's fun to watch a battle, but I mean, that's not that much fun to, to watch a losing battle to this degree. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, but what I was talking about earlier. Free game made a lot of changes to the game. See, we were the best. On, I was the best on the team. I still lose some rank. Bye-bye. About to say bye-bye to my diamond rank. 
One time I was plutonium. But no more. Not anymore. I don't even care that much anymore. I can't even explain why. It used to mean something to me now. I don't know why. I don't care so much anymore. That's the problem, too. It can't just be a fun game for me anymore. Maybe I just need different things. But I thought I'd cleared out some bays um, some time back. I wanted to have a bunch of open bays so I could uh, purchase a bunch of uh, player builds. You know? So, yeah. Anyway. So I'm just kind of looking through what was the most bought. I know that's the cheesy ballless thing to do. But I want to see here, well, you know, how Free Jam's uh, handling this community robot factory here. And obviously on top we have uh, Left of Never's built. <coughs> now, I mean, if you do a challenge like this on a video... And, uh, Sponsored, supported by Free Jam, yeah, it's gonna be the most sold build, I suppose. Not really interested in that. I want to see what other people have built. Reg regular old, f regular folk. Now, this is an impressive build. I do get it. I like it. It could work. It's just a point holder. I get it. And I see a lot of lot of love tanky builds up there. You know me. I like some Teslas. I like a miss some Tesla. This is by Ice Daddy. More wheels go faster. I'm sure they do. Kinda like that build too. Uh, I like these tanky builds. Cause they seem like they'd hold up. I don't like actual Tank treads, though, is my problem. Looks good, though. Looks like a OG Free GM color scheme there. Little carbon color scheme. Everybody likes the carbon color scheme still. Can you believe that? All these years, you still see carbon color schemes. Of orange and black. Yeah, a few good looking builds here. I don't want to really get too crazy, go too far. I want to, I want to build that I, I'm fairly certain will work good. But I want it to be pretty original. I don't want to, I don't want a, a cookie cutter build, you know. I want to play a build for you guys that, that, it's a little unique. And I already know the dangers of this, as we found out earlier. And this guy's got two. Legendary pot. I bet it is. That's Rafino there. Got 3,000 cells on it. That's not bad. Cruncher. This is a, not just a frame. A samurai glyph. I have tried, I've liked these builds, but these kind of things are best played from a distance. So that hopefully if you, or the people that do it, they, it it's because it's based on a lot of redundancy. And so that if they're out there, they're firing from a distance and they're not really paying much attention to their damage, they could fall down and probably heal back up relatively quickly. But but have enough to get them to a safe area, you know, if they do have to land. Little frame. That looks like crap. Get shot right there between the wing areas, it's gone. They're the, you're spinning and... Of course it's designed by a jammer. 7M31V. Don't recommend that one. I mean, it, it looked good. Looks do not win, though. I'll tell you. That one, actually, I'm not sure what had going on there. I'm thinking, though, that we are probably going to go with this. It's just unique enough for me. It's, and I don't do wheels a lot. 
thinking, you know, we could do the more wheels go faster thing. Looks good. Flashy. Let's get it. What? No, I had a bay. I emptied a bunch of bays. I already have a bay. Why do I have to upgrade? I cleared out 30 bays not too long ago. I should have 30 open bays. What is this crap? Now. 325,000. Yeah, I know. Better tarry about you're a millionaire. It's the principle, people. It's the principle. We had 100 bays. Now we don't, okay? In the United States, they used it back in the day. They would call thing this. They would call this Indian giving. It's not so PC these days. But but it, but the term Indian givers, you know, it, it's, it's, it may sound like a slur, but the term was actually derived from when the English came over and settled America, and they would like take over their land. But the Indians didn't believe in land ownership. They didn't see it that way. They just they were like, "What the heck?" And they're like, "Look, okay, we're gonna, we're going to build houses and settle here. I'll tell you what you guys can do. You Indian guys, you can move over here and settle on this land and live there. And it's a really nice land, and we won't bother you over there." And then they're like, "Well, fine, because you guys have guns. Fine." We'll move over there. So then, you know what happened? The The British population, our body started getting bigger. And then they started wanting that land. And I said, well, listen, I hate to do this. I know we gave you this land. And they're like, what do you, what are you about, what do you say? Well, we just need you to move. We need you to move a little further out west. We're going to need that land. But you gave us that land. No, I know we gave you that land. I do not understand. You like my Indian accent? That's my Native American accent. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. Just... Oh no! A toy bot made an oopsie! I don't really care. I'm not so PC. I'm not a racist though. Everybody knows that. I don't really care. Everybody's got a tiny bit of racism where they deny it or not. There's not. There's, I guarantee you, there's some form of ignorance. And all the word ignorance means is to not know something. Don't turn it into a dirty word. That gummit, where did I go with this whole topic? It was all from the word Indian giving. Or the, the, the phrase. But anyway, so yeah, the British would, would give the Indians land, and then they would take it and make them, they'd move out further, and then they would take it again. And uh, that's where the famous uh, Trail of Tears Anyway, enough American history, right? We had, I, I had a hundred bays. I had a hundred bays. But now I don't have a hundred bays. Is, do you understand what I'm saying? Is this build not awesome? This car is not all that great. It's okay. I didn't like, I hate that things automatically come in with uh, camera steer. I would not... I'm not a fan of camera steer. I, I do like it on hover builds. I like it on certain things, but I don't like it on, you know. I only really like it on things that can straight. Good. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I hate fighting these AT-AT like builds, man. Because they just hop, they just jump, they just hop away, and you're just like you're trying to catch them when they fall and knock off their legs. And then once you do, you got them. But right now, he was just wasting my time, and I'm I'm done with that. I'm going over here now. I'm like I'm just gonna cap. I want a freaking because they're capping the middle now. You know, all they would do now, you know, if I was wasting my time up there, 
They'd come after that one. I could already see how it was going to end. That gummit. The point nearest to your base is under attack. This, no. It's not what was supposed to happen. And they're still capping our home point. They're still capping the home point. This is crap. This is crap. This is crap. I'm just a distraction. Uh, I hope all I can do is hope that my team's doing something constructive. I don't know what he's doing. What is my team doing? I'm not. I'm gonna save you some time, man. I destroyed him. Probably not the worst build. Maybe that's just a good match. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't see why it has so many cells. But moving on. Next build. See what we got. Next build. Oh no. Okay. I think I'm. I think I am gonna do this guy. I like it. This is a crappy name. This is by Delta Four Two Zero Zero Eight. That's a movie guy or something. Anyway, <laughs> that's from something, but I don't know. Robo 395 copy. What kind of a crappy name for a robot was that? How has it got over 2,000 sales? You know that a robot's really good if it's got a crappy name and a ton of sales. This reminds me a lot of uh, the uh, Paladin by uh, Rosefall years ago. And a few other people have tried, but I do builds like this. I don't know if I have anything up. Go always check check and see what I have up. I did put the uh, Enterprise back up in the CRF. As well. Or not the Enterprise, the Discovery. Get my words. I didn't like the paint job, so I'm painting it. You know I paint it. I won't. I don't know. I tried to go with the green because that was originally what my logo color thing was. I was going with green. I want to do t-shirts and stuff, but you know I'm afraid of uh, what Atari might say. I can only get away with so much. I've, I've actually talked to Atari. And I've, I've, I've tried to do something with them and say, look, you know, I grew up on an Atari, you know. It's not the games I play now, but I thought, you know, we could work out a deal of some sort where I could be there. Something to support their, their new game system or something, you know. And I was, uh, that's before I am now, or now I'm like, you know, I don't care anymore. I don't care about trying to make money or get, you know, anything out of this anymore. Now I just do it to do it. Because people actually like watching me paint robots. <laughs> and that's cool. If they like watching it, I like doing it. That's what I say. Not bad, not bad. I thought I'd give it kind of a, a yellow to green, kind of like a Mountain Dew. I'm not a fan of Mountain Dew either. But <laughs> it's like the color scheme, okay? Is that okay? That looked good. That looked good. A little lighter yellows, maybe, if we I don't have any more. Maybe I'd go uh, like a white or something up here. Where is it? Hmm? No, that's the same thing. Hmm? Uh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe if I do that, yeah, maybe, I don't know, I think this needs to be white or something up here, or some lighter color, uh, maybe not, it's too bright, <laughs> let's go with, oh, that's not what I'm at, come on, just the rod, the gun. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. That's a good looking robot right there. Alright. Oh, no. 
Here we go. Here we go again. Test out another guy. This one actually looks pretty good. Had to buy another bay for it. That's some crap. I'm still salty about that. I don't know what that thing was about. Anyway. I'm like... Yeah. Man, they should give me back my base. Give me back on... Anybody... I don't know. I mean, I know what, what Free Jam would say about this. They're saying you should have read the special fine print on our news. And crap. I, I get it, okay? I used to, like, keep up with crap more. And report news and stuff. And now I kind of do, but, you know, it's kind of half-ass now. Uh, people, I don't feel like people are actually, you know, I don't, I don't get the news I used to, whatever. I actually don't have a subs I, you know, I have about the same amount of subscribers I've had for the past year or whatever. You know, uh, just nothing, you know, and it's not being, it's not, be, I don't, I lose one and I'll gain one. I lose one, I'll gain one. I lose one, okay. It's like constant like that. You know. I gain them, like, it's, it's, I'm, I'm on the gaining side, but it's just so slow. It feels like, the, the way YouTube's thing is, is that you have to upload every day, and I just don't want to upload every day. Because it would have to be garbage if I did. Yeah, I could, I could do some MLG, you know, crap, and just have it where it's just some downloaded music was playing. And I, I, my early videos were like that. You could watch videos where all I did was kick ass and play badass music in the background. And that was all I did. Sometimes I would stick a meme or two in there. And it was fun. But now, you know... It's not that I've grown up. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I've always been grown up. I'm always going to be a kid at heart, no matter what I do. That's obvious. Like I said, I grew up playing Atari, so you guys know how old I am. I mean, I didn't just play Atari. I grew up with uh, Nintendo as well. I was actually a, a little too young for Atari. And when, when Atari was out, I was... When it was popular, I was probably about seven, eight years old. You know? When the Atari 2600 it, it hit its popular prime. And, 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 you know, if you were still playing with the ColecoVision or whatever, or... You, I mean, Odyssey, Odyssey was okay, but you know, you know, it's not an actual Atari, you know, I mean, it's, you know stupid people. I like the Odyssey, I had an Odyssey, oh my gosh, those things are so awesome, I had the little thing that plugged into the top of it and everything. Yeah. I forgot, KC Munchkin was the Pac-Man for the Odyssey game system, it was so awesome. This is not a bad build. This is not a bad build. I'm playing conservatively here because this is just, it's not a bad build. It's like when I'm when I'm if I've got a good build, you know, winning these matches is as much about not dying as it is about getting kills. Um, I'm not getting a bunch of shots here, but sometimes I am. But you you will see little tricks I do. Like watch my crosshairs. I'm closing my crosshairs a lot. You know, because I get better shots. I'm more likely to land the shots with my cr my crosshairs closed than to just hold my left trigger down, just firing away at everything that comes across me. You know, and do be more effective shots. You know, shots that go center of mass to a robot are much more effective than just shooting off the crap parts they might have bolted onto the sides or a shield or whatever. You, you always want to try to hit that center of mass because that's where you're going to knock off big chunks of robot. Or you're going to cut them in half. You're going to do something and it's going to make it where you want their robot unplayable. See, I still give gaming tips. I give a little gaming tip about every video. I like that for you guys. 
try to give you a full around talk about stuff not just robocraft i talk about things outside of robocraft too a little bit elon musk and uh justin roiland from rick and morty creator of rick and morty going to uh host meme review of pewdiepie that's the news um, my understanding is, I don't know why they're holding the video, but they're, they've already made it. They've already done it. PewDiePie is just holding on to it. Now, your guess is as good as mine. Whether or not it's actually, if they did it, if it, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But you're still listening to me. Still killing bad guys. One man's bad guy is another man's good guy. <laughs> yeah. Thought I was gonna say. Rebel and freedom. Surging and you know they make all these things. But it's that's kinda true. Most, most people in these conflicts in, in the real world they believe they're, they're the good guys in the end there is probably an underlying truth of this person's good guy for this reason versus this person's ill-fated beliefs and while ignorance is probably the number one reason for all wars it's a very tough thing to combat people don't like to be told they didn't know something it is what it is as they say some people say I hear certain people say that more than other people I don't feel right sharing who those people are <laughs> anyway There it is. Not bad. I wasn't the best player, wasn't the worst. Like I said, I was playing conservatively there. That was not a bad, that's not a bad build. I mean, it held up really well. I probably could have gotten a little more in your face, a little one on more aggressive with this guy. It seemed to hold up pretty good. Um, I don't really ever vote for myself, really. Um... I don't know, this guy, actually he probably played the best, but it looks pretty good, interesting. I think we're going to give the enemy some love though. <laughs> I'm not actually sure that he, he was, he might have been on their team, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Nah. We'll give him. Five out of five. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I liked it. I liked it. I wonder if... I, I mean... I, I, I was going to say I wonder how original, but you know, it's hard to say, you know? It's like a lot of people will build something from scratch and felt like, oh, I did something special just to find, oh, it looks just like Rose Falls Paladin. You know? So And then everybody accuses you, oh, you just built a paladin. Or whatever, you know. And so, it's hard to say. I'm still mad about the bay thing, man. I want my bays back. Free jam, give me my bays back. I don't ask for much. I had I had a hundred bays. And you just took them away. Now I gotta... Spend money. Think I wanna dip into my millions of robots? You think I wanna do that? I wanna make more robots. I don't want to spend them. No, I don't care. <laughs> Look at me spin. I can spin. I love these. Uh, I like the forest. Looks good. And just kind of a, you know, it just kind of sucked. It's my crappy luck. You know, I'm not going to belly oak over it too much. I know I have to buy the new, buy my bays back. Whatever. I think it's crap. I do think you should give me my bays back. I do think I do think it was I think I was robbed. I feel robbed. I feel hurt. I feel betrayed. 
I don't like the pain and feel inside. It hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know what's wrong with me. People. This is why I have YouTube channels. <laughs> so that the different crazy parts of me can just flow different ways. Yeah. When you're using an Atari processor for a brain, you know, sometimes things can get a bit laggy. <laughs> How long are we gonna just sit here and spin Atari bot? Why are you doing this to us? Are you trolling us? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I'm tired. Like, I, I want to do more stuff in this game. I do. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I want to see more maps. Please, make new maps. Make new maps. New game modes. Make it... Make a make a Megabot game mode. Make a... Either 1v1 or 2v2 game mode you could just click a button and go into don't make people go through custom games people aren't going to that's just not a cool thing you know what you ever see that movie fill the dreams if you build it they will come you're like we can't have made new maps and more game modes we don't have the player base for it well geez you got rid of game modes and you lost more players how's that been working for you Just do it. Do some things that can make matchmaking faster too. You could look around. I know, you, you already do things from other games. God. I don't know. As everybody knows my videos are not paid for or sponsored by anybody. So I could talk crap to anybody I want and say whatever I want. And it's just my opinion. And I know I'm supposed to give you my opinion. <laughs> Other people think they're not supposed to. But this is an opinion channel. I give a crap. That's my opinion. I think some people sometimes agree with my opinion. <laughs> and that's sad. <laughs> or it's funny. I don't know. Maybe it's right. This is the website. Maybe uh, they did a video here. I play. You're watching a YouTube video of me watching a YouTube video. But this is what what they had to say during their recent live stream. Hello, welcome to the very first Robocraft stream hosted by myself and Josh. We understand that we're going to have some technical difficulties <laughs> because of uh, a few things that have happened. For example, the El Gato has uh, decided to conk out on us because of USB 3.0. But we're going to continue going forward. Really? You're going to pull a Jack Black. You're going to pull a Jack Black. I'm my El Gato. It just, I don't know what to do. That El Gato doesn't work now. Just be 3.0, you know. 3.0 doesn't work the same. 3.0, USB 3.0. Oh, Elgato. Buy a new Elgato. I don't. People, man. People. I don't know. I don't use an Elgato. Man. I mean, I have, I have one, but then I've, you know, video cards have gotten really good, guys. Really good really good I don't know I mean there's times like uh, maybe I haven't seen the new Elgato's yet maybe they're really bad at, I mean I don't know I mean maybe they're super super awesome I don't know I don't know how to you know whatever I muted it if you're wondering cuz uh yeah it's alright yeah, you know. 
See, NVIDIA has a great recorder. Perfect. There's some stuff you can click on. You can go play the game, make comments, like, subscribe, poop on people.